crafty friends, my name is Bangi and today I'm gonna show you how I make these rose pin cushions. You can download the printable pattern from my website at happybangycraftymom.com. I will leave the link below. I will start by making the leaf. For the easy way, I just use enough fabric and then I trace the leaf onto it and I'm gonna stitch along the line don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and at the end next step I will trim the seam allowance carefully just cut along the stitches careful not to cut it too close and when I'm done that I will turn it inside out Next, I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing. I'm not going to add it too much because I don't want it to be too thick. When I'm done this, I'm going to do free-handed embroidery. The leaf vein along the leaf, just like drawing with the machine. It's going to take a while, so take your time and enjoy the process.
next step, I will be making a middle of the flower using the smaller circle. I will do the running stitch all around, and when I'm rich um, at the beginning, I will add a little bit of the stuffing, and then I will pull it tight to make a ball shape, and then I will set this aside for the next steps. Next step, I will be making the first layer of the flower by using the smaller semicircle to overlapping each other and pin them in place and I will do hand sewing with the running stitch all around the circle. When I reach the beginning of the sewing, I will grab the ball that I made earlier and then I will put them in the middle and then I will pull it tight to match the ball size and then I'm gonna sew them in place together. It doesn't matter how you sew it, just stitch them together.
the first layer of the flowers are done, I will do the second layer next. I will use the rest of the five smaller semicircles overlapping each other, pin them in place, and do the running stitch all around. And when I'm done, I will do the same thing, just put the first layer in the middle and pull them tight. And again, stitch them together. Doesn't matter how to sew it, just make sure they don't fall apart. The second layer of the flowers are done, I will set this aside and I will start the third layer. By doing the same thing with the big semicircle, just overlapping on the side, pin them in place, running stitch all around, put the flower in the middle and put them tight, make a knot and sew them together. Thank you. 
the flower parts are done, I will set this aside and start working on the bottom of the flowers. I will use the last circle here. I will do the running stitch all around it and then grab the cardstock paper and put them in the middle, pull them tight and make a knot and set them in place. seven cent last year um, so what I'm doing here I just wrap the elastic around the sewing machine I did not measuring them so you kind of just you know estimate wrap it around I think everyone's sewing machine is different sizes so yeah just cut at the length you want and next I'm gonna use the hot glue um, to glue it together I'm just running out of time I know you don't hear this, but the kid behind me, I keep yelling now, they are hungry monster. <laughs> time for me to go and cook dinner. You can use the hand stitch if you have time. So here I just yeah glue them together and then just put the elastic in the circle on the bottom and then it's done. And here I make another flower for my whisk. I just do the same thing, but this time I just wrap it around my whisk. And then I'm gonna cut them and glue them just the same manner. Now I have three flowers, <laughs> pin cushions, and not include the one that I already have. The, one, um, the little house one I make is a while ago. Those are my favorite. I just really like it. Put them around my craft table. And right, I think I have too much pin cushions now. I don't know if anyone need this much, but I'm pretty sure I will have a new idea to make another pin cushion in the future. But I will take a break for now. <laughs> All right, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already did. And thanks again for stopping by and don't forget to do more of what make you happy. Bye!